In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Roblox meta tags in WordPress. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So what are Roblox meta tags and why would you want to use them? And is this the same thing as a robots.txt file? First of all, nope, not the same thing as a robots.txt file, although it does accomplish the same goal. If you're bummed out thinking, oh man, I wanted to learn about a robots.txt file, I'd encourage you to watch this video anyway, because you might learn something about robots meta tags that you could implement on your website. And if you watch until the end of the video, you'll find a link over to our video on robots.txt files. I'm gonna show you how to use robots meta tags in this video, but if you wanna learn even more about them, we have a companion blog post on our website. I'll link to that in the description below this video and you can read all about robots meta tags. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the all-in-one SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIOSEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded and then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're gonna head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab, and then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're gonna paste the license key into the license key field, click Connect, and that's it, All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you wanna be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're gonna scroll up and click on the dashboard link just so we're all on the same page. So now that you've got All-in-One SEO installed, let's head on over to the All Posts section of our website. Robots.txt file and robots meta tags do the same thing. They give instructions to crawlers, to spiders, to the search engines, which parts of your website to index and include in search results and which parts to exclude. Lots of instances where you would have parts of your website that you want to exclude from search. The main difference between robots.txt file and robots meta tags is a robots.txt file allows you to make changes site-wide or apply changes to an entire directory. Whereas robots meta tags allow you to provide instructions to search engines about one particular page or post. So with that in mind, let's head on over to this post I have called Employee Directory. So this is just a fictitious page I made about the employees of a certain company. You might have something similar on your website that you don't want the search engines to see. So let's scroll down below the content to the all-in-one SEO settings section. There's a bunch of tabs up top. We're gonna click on the tab that says Advanced. And then to apply custom robots meta tags to this piece of content, we want to deselect the toggle here that says use default settings. So with that off, we can customize the settings. So with this particular piece of content, all we want to tell the search engines is not to index it. So we're just going to click the checkbox next to no index. We have all these other options, no follow, no archive, no translate, no image index, no snippet, no ODP. Most of them are self-explanatory. Those that aren't, again, I would encourage you to check out that companion blog post on our blog. I will have a link to that in the description below this video. So that's all there is to it if you want to exclude a simple page or post from being indexed. Untoggle the switch next to use default settings so you're not using the default settings and then select no index. 
If you do use the default settings, it's going to use what you have in your robots.txt file for excluding or giving directives to the search engines for a single piece of content or a specific few pieces of content, using robots meta tags is the way to go. Once you finish making those changes, click the update button and your changes have been saved. So that's how to use robots meta tags in WordPress. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to edit a robots.txt file. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, all-in-one SEO.